Okay, Tommy, you're back in Delray Beach for Champions Tour Tennis, standing on the very court where you hoisted the trophy back in 2006. What do you remember about that championship week? I remember having lots of good, hard, difficult matches. Uh, I believe I beat Andre Pavel in the semis in a hard-fought match to get to the finals. And then uh, in the finals, I beat my good friend Xavier Malise. I'm not sure, I think he got close to having a match point, but I think it was like 7-6 in the third. So it was a very hard-fought match, really earned it. And uh, yeah, it was really such a nice feeling because I played this tournament nine times overall and I felt like I had very, very good matches here, played good a lot of times, came up short every once in a while. So to really you know, win this title one time also here in Florida and sort of like my home state uh, meant a lot to me. In 2006, if someone had told you that in 2019 you would have a beautiful family, two adorable girls, and you would be the tournament director at one of the biggest tennis events in the world, what would you have said back then? Sign me up. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm very, very blessed, very lucky. And, um, you know, I have a beautiful family, beautiful wife, two great kids, and I uh, really love uh, my role also as a dad, and I uh, want to spend as much time as I can with them while they're young and still loving me. <laughs> And uh, yeah, and being part of uh, the tournament in Indian Wells, you know, with such an amazing team and great owner um, giving us a lot of uh, freedom and trying to keep making the tournament better is, uh, is a dream come true, really. And uh, can't wait for it to happen. We're just a couple of weeks out. Finally, last year here at the Delray Beach Open, we started our very own Walk of Fame and we are breaking news here today. You are going to be our third addition after John McEnroe and the Bryan brothers to the Delray Beach Open Walk of Fame. So congratulations. Oh, yeah. How special is it to be recognized now for the hard work that you put in during your career? Yeah, that's really an honor. I mean, that's that's all you can ask for. You know, you, you play something for, for so long, something that you love to do and, you know, you put a lot of effort into it, you know, sweats and tears and to get recognized every once in a while is obviously a special feeling and uh, to have it here in my home state in Florida as well is, is very, very special. So I feel, feel very honored and thank you very much. Congratulations. Thanks, Tommy. Thank you.